How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donahue here once again. This time we're going to take a look at atomic weights and weighted average atomic mass. So our objectives will be to be able to describe what is meant by atomic mass unit as well as determine the weighted average atomic mass for an element. So let's get into it. So weighted average atomic mass, what are we talking about? So if there are different naturally occurring isotopes, how do you calculate the average mass for each element, right? So nitrogen, there's two isotopes that occur naturally. There's nitrogen with a mass of 14 and a nitrogen with a mass of 15. Then, you know, if I were to just pluck out an average random nitrogen atom, what could I expect the mass to be? What would be the average mass? Now, before you start thinking it's, you know, 14 plus 15 divided by two, let's talk about an analogy, all right? So what is the average age of a class that has, a, that has six year olds, seven year olds, and a 33 year old teacher? You know, you wouldn't just go, all right, six plus seven plus 33 and divide by three and get 15.3 years. That's not the right way to do it. And why isn't it? You know, that, you could probably feel it in your gut that that's not right. There are more students than the teachers. We need to account for how many of each there are. You know, it's not fair to just go, there's six, seven, and 33. Let me average those three numbers because, you know, maybe there's a lot of six-year-olds and there's only one teacher, right? So when they say what's the average mass of nitrogen, if it has two isotopes, N14 and N15, you can't solve that you can't answer that question without knowing the abundance of each isotope so here's a slightly different question what is the average age of a classroom that has 10 six-year-olds four seven-year-olds and a 33 year old teacher now you know how many of each there are so this math you can do i go all right six-year-olds i got 10 so let me do six times 10 i get 60 plus i got four seven-year-olds so that's going to be plus 28 and i got one 33 year old so I add all those together, divide by 15 people total. Well, that's not right. Yeah, it is 15 people total and you get 8.1 years old. That makes a lot more sense. But here's the problem when it comes to atoms and we're talking about average of atoms. We can't count individual atoms, right? So there's no way to just <laughs> separate them and start counting how many there are. But what we can do is we can find out their relative abundance, like of the whole sample, what percent's N14? What percent is N15? Right, so we can figure that out. So how are we gonna work with percentages? Well, if this was the classroom, the data we would get would be like 67% of all the students are six, year old, six years old, 27% uh, are seven years old, and 6% are 33 years old, right? So what would the average be? Well, if we had the percentages, we could pretend we had 100, and then those percentages just become people. So you're going to do this. You're gonna do, all right, well, I got 67% times six years old. I got 27% times seven years old, and I got 6% times 33 years old. I'm gonna add all those together and then divide by 100 because it's 100%. I assumed I had 100, so those percentages become just number of people. And when I do that, I get 7.89 years old. Now, a little uh, note, it's slightly different because I, I these numbers are rounded, right? So when we're dealing with people and dealing with atoms, it's slightly different, but this is how you would do the math. So let's take a look at what the simplified equation would be. So average atomic mass is gonna be equal to the percent of isotope one times the mass of isotope one plus the percent of isotope two times the mass of isotope two divided by 100. If there are four isotopes, then you would just continue this pattern on. And it would be also plus the percent of the third one times the mass of the third one plus the percent of the fourth one times the mass of the fourth one. And that's just how you would do that, right? It's doing the same thing. So when we do the averages, we're gonna only look at the naturally occurring abundances because there are some like synthetic isotopes that we make uh, but most of the time we're not concerned with that because we're making those uh, you're not going to find them in nature, right? So what is the average atomic mass of nitrogen given the following information? We know that nitrogen 14 has this mass and 99.6% of all nitrogen is that isotope For nitrogen 15, it's only 0.4% and has a mass of that So when we do the math again, it's just the you know the percent of the first one times the mass of the first one plus the percent of the second one times the mass of the second one and then divide that by 100 and you get 14.07 atomic mass units as your average mass. 
right? There's also a pattern here that most of the time, the average atomic mass is closest to the most abundant isotope. So you can see almost all of the nitrogen 14 or all the nitrogen is nitrogen 14. And you can see the mass is really close to that one compared to 15. So it's not just a straight average. So here's another example. Calculate the weighted average atomic mass for carbon given the following information. I dare you to pause it and try to do this problem and then check. All right, so go ahead, press pause. Try it out. All right, welcome back. So again, we're gonna to go to the weighted average atomic mass is gonna equal the percent of the first one times the mass of the first one plus the percent of the second one times the mass of the second one and then divided by 100. So when I do that, I go, all right, I got 98.90% times the mass, which is exactly 12.00. I'm not gonna write all those out because I'm lazy and you know they're there. Plus 1.10% times 13.003355. And then divide by 100. And what do we get uh, when I round it to it, you're gonna get 12.011. And if I was being true to significant figures with this percentage, it would be 12.0. Now again, this average, oh, I'm sorry, units, AMU, atomic mass unit. And if you take a look, 12.0 is the closest to the most abundant. It's almost all carbon 12. So you would expect the average to be closest to the mass of 12. So yeah, summarize, can you describe what's meant by atomic mass unit? Can you calculate the weighted average atomic mass in terms of atomic mass units? And uh, I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in class. Goodbye.